Hi there. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make aluminium powder with uh, my method. Now previously I've seen tutorials where they show you how to make um, aluminium powder out of tin foil and with a coffee grinder. But uh, when I tried that, um, my coffee grinder went from making this noise to this noise. So I suspect that due to you having metal this is getting turned into little pellets and it's getting hit inside the, the compartment there. Um, it damaged the motor uh, to the point where I'm scared to use it. So I'm going to show you my setup now and I'm going to show you how it is in action. Okay, so the way it works is I have the aluminium here that I'm going to be taking the metal from. And I got this chunk of aluminium um, from aluminium cans. Uh, and I melted it with a Grant Thompson style uh, foundry. Now, just a word of warning, um, make sure you put water on your piece of metal uh, because from grinding it, it has taken up so much heat that it started melting the clamp, so I had to put water on it to keep it uh, cool. And from that amount of powder, I got a chunk about that big from that thickness so it you do get most of it unfortunately it's not the cleanest thing in the world as you can see some of it does escape um, this because when the grinders grinding it, it shoots most of it off that way but some of it gets sent upwards so that's one thing to uh, try to take care of and you can go around it by probably make a much, making a much bigger cone here for catching um, but obviously it won't have as much suction um, further out and then as you can see I've been grinding out pieces of it and I use a an angle grinder with a flat disc as far as I know that's what it's called um, so that is what is generating most of the chunks or uh, filings of aluminium that I'm going to be collecting then I have a vacuum cleaner here that uh, works by uh, putting water into your floor, uh, into your carpet, and then it sucks it up, pulling out the dirt. Um, I know probably very few people who have this, so I'll put a diagram later on to show what you can substitute this with. So the way you could substitute the whole vacuum and water pump setup is to have a uh, a large bucket that has a, a lid on it and then you have your your funnel here and then that has a pipe that's going down into a small amount of water uh, probably just a bit more to cover the pipe um, as it sticks down into the bottom and then you have your vacuum cleaner just here so when the vacuum here starts sucking in um, start sucking in air through here the the pressure or the the lower pressure will pull the air through here pull it into the pipe and then it'll bubble into the water so all the aluminium filings that come through here will get caught in there and to be honest this is probably much simpler than my whole setup um, but I just didn't have a bucket that I could use for this so if you have a bucket use that if not well I need to find a different solution so I have the vacuum cleaner there and it has a reservoir where it catches the water with the dirt then for the water I have a pipe coming into my funnel that catches all the filings then that is in a bucket with water that has just a little more water than what can be held in the reservoir due to my pump um, not being able to suck up everything so the way it works is the angle grinder you position it so it's shooting all the filings in this way and then the suction sucks it in then it gets mixed with the water um, so that it gets caught into the water and then doesn't get sucked into the vacuum cleaner so that keeps all the filings in one place 
and you can see just from the short demonstration that I'll show you now um, that that is what I've managed to collect. Uh, it's also a little bit left over from previous but you do get a fair amount of powder. So I'll show you the demonstration now. You must also make sure that when you're using this, you must um, have facial protection or at least uh, eye protection and earmuffs because uh, it is very noisy and some of the particles of the aluminium do manage to find your face and I've been hit quite a lot even with wearing this so it does come from almost all directions. Okay, so what I've done here now is I've poured off most of the water, let the powder settle, and then you just pour it off, and then you collect that, and then you dry that in the oven on just a piece of aluminium foil or something in a pan. And then once that's done, uh, it gets put into a ball mill. Um, so I have the drum here. Unfortunately I don't have the proper grinding media so I just use marbles. You can see they're nice and shiny from grinding. Um, it went from this. So that was probably just less than 12 hours grinding. So it has reduced it quite a lot. So this is still fairly coarse. Could do with a couple day, couple more days grinding, then it should be a very nice fine powder. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.